Punjab, then you have surely heard of Doda Burfi. And if you are yet to visit it, Punjab, then I bring to you this sweet fudge. Let's bake Doda Burfi, this Raksha Bandhan. But before that, let's do a taste test. And it is oh, so, so, so yum. It's amazing. It's amazingly delicious. Do try it out. You will love it. Soft, fudgy and rich is this sweet delicacy from Punjab. So let's begin baking a batch of Doda Burfi today. For this recipe, to bake Doda Burfi, you need 1 cup of dalia or broken wheat or cracked wheat. And you will need to dry roast it first. As usual, I have dry roasted it in air fryer, but you may do so in your kadahi or cooker. Air fry at 160 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes first. Look if it is done, otherwise bake it for another 10 minutes. Once it cools down, grind the liya to powder and set aside. Now let's make a syrup. Half cup of date palm jaggery or plain jaggery. One fourth cup of malai. Malai gives it richness. So please do add malai and don't look for a substitute. I added pandan leaves or annapurna as it is called in Orissa for flavor but it's optional. You can add two tablespoons of water and make a puree. Now add the blended mix to the uh, powdered roasted and powdered dahlia I added one cup of water in total don't forget to add one tablespoon of cocoa powder or cocoa powder mix it really well and then set it aside for at least 30 minutes in 30 minutes dahlia or broken wheat will absorb the moisture look it has absorbed all the moisture and it has thickened no worries, I did a taste test and it was oh so yum. Half cup of almond powder or almond meal or almond flour goes in for another nutritional punch. You may add coconut powder as well. If the batter is too dry, you can add 2 tablespoons more of water and check the consistency. Pour into a greased baking dish or tin. I forgot to add beetroot powder for color. So this is optional. If you want, you can add else skip it. Mix it really well and then we'll need to bake it for 40 minutes at 140 degrees Celsius. Check after 40 minutes if it is done. If not, you can bake it for 10 to 20 minutes more. Decorate with almonds, dust with almond flour and let it cool down. Let the baked doda burfi cool down properly before slicing it. Otherwise, it will crumble. Slice it and enjoy melt in mouth delicacy from Punjab. And I'm sure you're going to fall in love with this sweet Indian treat. Enjoy homemade baked doda burfi. Do write to me in comments how you find this recipe of baked doda burfi. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications to Ravneet Bhalla's healthy recipes.